Hello, my name is Caleb Bigham. I'm a senior finance major at Oklahoma Christian University, and today I will be presenting on intercultural communication in Greece. Um, I've chosen to do Greece because I have always admired Greek history. They are pioneers of the current form of government that we have. Um, you know, there's just no end to all the historical things that uh, have taken place in Greece. And so that's what kind of started my interest. But what really hooked me as a finance major is the economic situation that they are currently in. Um, and I'll explain that later. Um, but today I will be covering basically communication in Greece from the point of view of somebody that is looking to start a business there and wants to know how to effectively communicate in the Greek culture as opposed to the American one. So the questions that I'll be answering today will be what communication does this culture use? Is it a high context culture or a low context culture? Um, what are some of the cultural folk ways that we shouldn't ignore when we do decide to open up operations in Greece? And um, what is the general environment for a new business in Greece right now? And I will be covering each one of these in a lot of depth. But before I do that, I wanted to take the opportunity to inform you of some of the research that I've done and just inform you of how I came to the conclusions that I did. I used a couple of primary sources, and that is in the form of two interviews that I did. One with one of my fellow students at Oklahoma Christian University. Um, her name is Haley Jones, and she just returned from a trip to Greece. So she really got to go and immerse herself in that culture and learn firsthand about the things that we can just read about. So th that was an interesting perspective to get. Also, um, Dr. Jeffrey Simmons, and he is my international business professor. Um, he has both lived in Greece and has his PhD in international business from the Thunderbird Global Management School, which is one of the leading um, leading opinions on international business today. So he was a very credible source and one that really gave me a lot of a lot of insight and a lot of direction on where I should move with this. Um, those were my primary sources, and now onto my secondary sources. I I mainly use EBSCOhost, which uh, publishes a lot of journals and a lot of uh, newspaper articles. And the articles that I used have all been peer reviewed, so uh, we know that they're authentic. We know that the research is good. Um, I also did uh, Google searches for some of the stuff that was a little bit harder to find. Uh, stuff on the economic crisis right now is still a little difficult to, uh, to have journals published over just quite yet. But um, the first question that I'll be answering today is um, the cultural context of Greece. And um, the first question that comes to most people's mind is what is cultural context? And cultural context is basically different ways of communicating within a culture. A high cultural context, people would focus more on the way that you present yourself rather than on what's actually being said. On the opposite side of the spectrum, we have low context. And in a low context culture, people are more worried about the content of the message as opposed to the way that you present it. And when I, when I went to look, I wasn't sure that Greece would, you know, actually fall on the scale where I thought they would. But, um, that brings us to the next question, is, um, is Greece a high or low context culture? And when I looked this up, they were actually an example of a high context culture, which means that they put a lot of emphasis on how you say things, and not quite so much on what you say. So um, that leads us into, how do I effectively communicate with the Greek culture? And you can do this by using a couple of different methods. The first and most important thing that you can do is be sure that you present yourself in a nonverbal way that is very positive. Uh, again, a high context culture, it's very important the way, the way that you say things. So present yourself good nonverbally. Um, second, appeal to the collective, the collectivism that all Greeks share. They're a very family-oriented person. They're very family-oriented people, excuse me. And so that is something that really appeals to them. So uh, appeal to them on that level. Try to make personal relationships with them. Um, another thing that you can do is to just to be very very professional and uh, you know make it obvious that you are exerting the effort to learn their way of life and to learn how to effectively communicate with them. 
All right, that brings us on to some of the folkways in Greek culture. Um, these are not so serious as norms and mores, that if they're not observed, you would be in a whole lot of trouble, but folkways are just something that makes your everyday interactions with the Greek people more easy and more free-flowing. So um, one of the ones is that uh, Kirsi and Kirsa are Mr. and Mrs., and those should be used during all introductions. And when you introduce people, you introduce older, older people first, then you move on to men, and then you move on to women, and then younger children. And that is just the way that they do it. And again, if you mess up, it's not that big of a deal. But it really would show that you're really trying if you try to learn the way that they introduce people and try to do it accordingly. So that is, a, that is just one example of, of a Greek folk way. Um, and even the peace sign, the way that you do the peace sign, either palm out or... Uh, or uh, the back of your hand out, means different things. So ju just be aware. Just be very aware of what you're doing. Um, okay, and that brings us on to the uh, business environment in Greece right now. And this is kind of off the communication track, but I just wanted to kind of inform you because this is something that's very interesting to me. Um, in Greece right now, um, they've accumulated a large amount of national debt. And that has put them in a situation where people are doubting um, whether they will be able to pay or not. Um, and that puts a lot of uh, that puts a lot of pressure on their bonds, on uh, stocks that are based out of Greece, and other things like that. But that also puts it instability and turmoil into all of the euro. Since they are a part of the European Union, everyone is based on the same currency. And if Greece fails, then that throws a kink in the whole system. So right now, a lot of European stocks. European bonds are really getting hit hard, and some economists think it's a pretty bleak situation and one that the euro might have trouble coming out of. But uh, all that is to say that opening a business in Greece might not be the best thing that you could do right at the moment. But now that we understand how to communicate in a Greek culture, if we ever did want to have that situation, we would know how to effectively present ourselves in a way that would allow them to see that we as Americans and we as people are really trying to embrace our culture and really trying hard to find the most effective way. And that, more than anything, is important to people just to know that you care enough to put forth an effort. So thank you very much for your time and attention, and I hope you enjoyed my presentation.